Hi, I'm Andrea and welcome back to Style for Life. Today I'm going to do a quick video on my best purchases I made for 2018. Now I made quite a few purchases so I can't list everything, but these are some of the things that I've used and I thought that I would uh, mention them. I think there's maybe uh, two things, yes, I'm so sorry, two things that I have not used, but I think it's worthy to mention because I think they were great purchases and I one I received right before Christmas and I was supposed to wear it and I didn't get a chance because I was sick and I didn't get a chance to go out. So the first thing I would like to, to share with you that I did buy in 2018 that I've been loving is this beautiful, oh, over here, beautiful brooch. It's a Chanel brooch. Um, it's half... Um, gold tone and leather and then the other half um, let's see, right, and the other half is um, the other half of the sea is um, pearl and I'm so happy that I received this um, um, brooch because I've been looking for a pearl brooch for the longest and when I saw that this was available at the Chicago boutique I was so um, happy to uh, get it. I could come a little closer so you can see. I'm not sure about the lighting, but it is simply stunning. And at first, I wasn't sure if I should get it because I do have um, another black and white Chanel brooch, but the only difference is it's in, I believe, um, rhinestone or something. It's like it's not the same um, as this. So this, um, the essay was telling me, well, there are two different um, types of brooch. One is more, um, you know, that stone, the stones are different. This is um, leather and gold and pearl. And the other one is just strictly, I want to say, it's not rhinestone, but you know, the clearer stones. So it was completely different, she said. So I'm so happy that she convinced me to keep this. All right, so that's the first thing that I'm happy that I picked up. The second thing that I picked up while I was in Chicago um, at the boutique is this other beautiful brooch. And this one is also pearl, but it's quite different. It's silver and pearl. And I don't think I've ever worn this one before. This one is silver and pearl. It looks like that. It is very, very pretty. It has the crystals. That's the word I was looking for, not rhinestone, crystals. Um, in the other brooch. It was crystal, black and white crystals. And this one has crystals on the top and then the pearl in the middle. So the crystals, um, it is um, around the pearl. And I think that is so beautiful, just simply elegant. And this one retails for $6.75 because the tag is still inside. So these two um, brooches I picked up, I'm so happy I did. And Moving right along, so uh, the next thing I bought in 2018 that my essay sent this one to me from the Chicago store is this beautiful Revolve bracelet. I love this bracelet. I've worn it um, a couple times, gotten some compliments on it. It is gold and um, I want to say, I'm not sure what leather this is. Is it Togo leather or the smooth leather? But um, it is simply beautiful. It's in the electric blue color. Can you see there? There we go. It's simply lovely. So I ordered another one in the, I'm trying to think, is it the rose color or the hot pink? But I will sh definitely share it with you when I receive it. So here is the Revolve bracelet in the electric blue, I believe. That's the color, electric blue. So that's how that one is. And I normally keep this little plastic, um, they tend to bounce around a lot, so it came in this plastic cap here to protect the little um, gold ring from not hitting the, the hardware. So I'll put that away later. All right, next thing that I bought that I've been enjoying is are my Bastias. I have this one in the tube color, and then I have another one, where'd it go, in the electric blue color, yes. There we go. And I always love to carry these in my smaller pocketbooks. So here's the one that I've been using. And I put this one away for the time being because this one I've been using for a long time. But this is how it looks. You can um, use it as a coin purse. I usually just use it as an earbud because I just don't want to get inside dirty. But I think since I have two now, I can um, designate one for my earbuds and one for my coins. So. Here is the one I'm currently using, and this one has earbuds in it. 
it is so convenient to have um, these little guys because you can put them in um, your bags and you know where your earbuds are kept and they're kept safe and tangle free so this one is in the etude color now they have a lot of other colors out that are fun colors, yellow and green, and they have all the um, spring colors coming out, so that's good. Okay, another purchase I made, which I'm very happy about, um, are my Oran sandals in the color gold. So I was so happy to um, get these sandals. I did not get a chance to try them on at the Chicago store, so when I got back, I told my essay to please send me the seven and a half. Well, um, European sizes are very much different. You do have to size up or I recommend that you size up. And I was so happy to get these in the gold color. And then, because I got that, I was so happy to get the, sorry, my alarm's going off. My husband is home, so I'm very sorry about that. Um, the belt in the gold gold color. I was so happy to get the belt in the gold color. It is in the gold color and black. So I'm very happy to have that color. Um, and of course it comes with the gold hardware and I'm just pleased to have this as well. This is the gold hardware it has right there. So I'm happy to have that. That was very hard to get. She went out of all her way to, to get me that. And I'm just so pleased that she was able to get me that because it was the last one that was left. So I was very happy. Another item that was very good for 2018 is my Gucci um, Soho bag. I haven't worn it yet because I'm waiting for the spring to wear it due to the weather I wear a lot of dark clothes because it's winter here um, in the Midwest and so I tend to wear a lot of dark clothing so I didn't want to get color transfer because I've heard a lot of people talk about color transfer and I do not want that so I'm reserving to wear this in the spring summer and maybe early fall so that's another bag that I'm happy to get and then I'm also happy to get my um, Louis Vuitton um, BB Lock Me Bag in the color red. This is such a beautiful bag with silver hardware. I haven't gotten a chance to wear this bag as yet either because I was sick, so it's all stuffed and everything. It's very spacious inside. And when I do um, get a chance to use it, I will do a thorough review on it. But here it is with the silver hardware. This is what the back looks like, and it has a long strap that you could wear it cross body. So I'm so happy to have this in my collection because I was going to get it in the Gucci Soho Disco shape, but I said no, I, I'll wait because I like it in this color. I like, I like the Disco in the beige, um, the rose beige color. And then when this came available, I was so pleased. So this is a great purchase, and I'm so happy to have this bag that I bought in 2018. And then the last bag that I bought in 2018 is my Dior Ever bag. So happy that I bought this bag in 2018. It's um, a well-made bag. It's all leather. It could be worn two ways. You can wear it this way or you can wear it with arms funneled through and it stays like that. And then you can wear it like this. It has Inside is spacious and inside is all leather as well. I store my, um, my strap inside and it has a secret compartment um, here towards the back where you can fit an iPad. So this is such a lovely bag. Very, very stunning. And it has um, a similar shape to the Birkin, which I don't think I'll be getting anytime soon. So this um, satisfy me for right now. Very well made bag. It does have feet and I just, I think it's simply lovely. So these are the purchases I made for 2018. Let me know what um, purchases you made that you've been enjoying. All right? See you soon and God bless. Bye-bye.